the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder So I'm subject this morning to making my tea and Andy's coffee on the hob because our kettle broke yesterday so thanks to Amazon Prime we have a delivery coming today and I might have accidentally ordered two because I ordered a normal kettle and then I seen a really cool one which I shared over on my home Instagram. So yeah we're gonna get that today so that'll be a delivery but for now we're going old school. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video and today we are here for an overdue home vlog. I know you guys love vlogs and we love cozy home vlogs because you just love everything to do with staying at home, being cozy, home updates which I have got to show you guys. I've also got quite a few deliveries coming today and we've got a very well we and he's got a very exciting delivery coming for himself but i have got quite a few deliveries coming today so i thought that'd be quite fun because obviously you guys love like it's gonna be mini hauls essentially in this video so before we get actually into the video today i also want to thank the sponsors of today's video which are skin and me this is a new skincare brand that i have been trying out and it is honestly so unique I've been using their Daily Doser, which I'm gonna show you guys later. It's a nighttime product, so obviously later on in this video when I do a bit of an evening skincare routine, I'm gonna show you what I do and how I use it. But as I said, Andy has got a very exciting delivery coming today. He's bought a new car, which we definitely did vlog, like months and months and months ago. I put it in a vlog that he got a new car delivered. Long story short, that car had a fault and they basically couldn't sort it out without driving it all the way back up north and he wasn't having that for a new car putting on loads of miles and stuff so he basically just had to send that back and then i don't know if you guys know but like the car market has absolutely been through the roof the past 12 months plus um all as a knock-on obviously of what we've all been through but there's been like a chip shortage or something so the company like car companies haven't been able to make cars so used cars values have gone massively up so it was really bad timing for him because he's been saving up to get this car that he's wanted for so long and he works really really hard and then like the time came that he actually wants to buy it which was just good timing for him and that was when obviously the market all went crazy so finally the day has come that his car is arriving um he's bought it from newcastle so it's um being delivered down here on a trailer so that's coming very shortly so i'll be showing you guys the new car also, as you would have seen from the clip before, our kettle has packed in. So I have got a couple of kettles actually coming from Amazon today because I ordered one and then I changed my mind, but it had already been dispatched. So we're gonna decide which one we want. I then also have a very exciting delivery for the house coming from the range of this piece of art I have been waiting for for so long. I really, really wanted it. So I ordered it online. And then this little cute piece of art for the kitchen, which I do need to DIY because it's got a bit of wood on it. So I do need to DIY that slightly, but I know exactly where I want that to go in the kitchen and it's just been playing on my mind for so long so I'm like oh, I really really need to I really want to buy that so I did get it it wasn't expensive at all or anything and then I also have a delivery from Pretty Little Thing which is hopefully coming today I got a text that it'd been diverted so hopefully it still arrives today but 
By the time you're watching this video, I would have been and gone, but Thursday next week, I'm actually going away to Lanzarote, finally going abroad for a little bit of winter sun and cocktails and goodness and beaches. And I'm so excited. I'm going with my friend and we've literally been scouring like ASOS, misguided, pretty little thing. And like now is the worst possible time to want to buy holiday clothes because like all of the holiday clothes from last year that have been in the sale are like the bare end of them and then there's no new stuff out just yet. I did actually have a delivery from Misguided that this is actually being returned. So there was only a couple of things I kept, like a black bikini, a little cami top, and a really nice orange, just basic dress. So I can show you that actually it's upstairs when my pretty little thing comes, hopefully, and I can do a little bit of a pretty little thing haul with you guys. And I also had a delivery yesterday for my holiday too, which is a new suitcase. I am so excited about this. I put it on Instagram and asked you guys on a poll. I was not sure between this color or a white. And I ended up going for sandstone this color because it won the poll. How lovely is this case? It's really simple, but I love this color. And the reason I needed to order a new suitcase is because Ryanair have changed their freaking dimensions of suitcases. So my one that I've been using all the time no longer fits, whereas this is a perfect fit. I ended up picking this up. I really love it. It's combination coded and it's also got a USB charging port, which is so cool for a suitcase, but it's from the brand Cabin Max. I ended up getting it on Amazon. I'll leave the link to it down below, but they do it in like quite a few different colors, but I loved this beige nude color. It's like a sort of, well, it's called sandstone, like I said, but it's like a dark beige verging tiny bit on khaki but it's definitely beige it's not got it's not green by any any means but yeah love this one so i can't wait to get packing as well you know when you just get new stuff you've got to like when you booked a holiday you just got to order new stuff i, I can't i'm so i'm just so excited it's only four days away but and by the time you watch this like i said i would have been and gotten but literally oh, i'm so excited so as my Amazon delivery of my kettles are not here yet, I'm gonna go ahead and boil some more water and make a drink. And we're gonna wait for Andy's car to be delivered. Who's that? Yeah. Morning. Who's that? Morning. Hello. Who's that? <clears throat> Hello. Don't lick me. I don't know who's gonna be the bigger kid in this house today. Because today, oh. we did it in a vlog before, but today, is new car day for Andy. He's waited for a long time and finally you got the car, didn't you? Well, you not got it quite yet, but it's on its way from Newcastle. What um so what car is it again? It's a BMW 4 series in Mexico blue. Yeah. 440 in Mexico blue. I'm not doing that. Oh. So we got the new car. It's on its way. And it's very, 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 very blue. Like, really blue. This is really annoying, this spot. I need to deal with this today. And the car has arrived. It's probably more so, but it's probably just going to rain again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've had sleep sleet on the way down. Oh, God. That's good. This interior is a bit of me loving, loving the leather. Ooh, I love that. So the first delivery has arrived and finally, I don't need to use the pan anymore. So because we needed a new kettle, I ended up picking up this instead. So I bought a kettle and then What's my bets that Jerry's gonna go ring the bells now and wanna go out? He does this all the time and it's really annoying and he might not even really wanna go out. Wait for it. There you go. I bet you don't even wanna go out, do you? You just do that because you want me to open the door. Go on then. Go on then. I push him out. Go on then. I end up kicking him out because I have to let him learn that if he rings the bells, he goes outside as simple as. But yeah, we basically need a new, new kettle and I typed in kettle on Amazon and I went through pages and pages and then I found this and Breville's a good, Breville is a good brand. And I thought this was just a little bit different. So I wanted to give it a go. It was on offer. Again, I will leave the link down below for this, but it's like a boiling water at the touch of a button, blah, blah, blah. It takes, it's more energy efficient because it basically just boils one 
cup at a time rather than like boiling a whole kettle so i thought that that was quite interesting so i'm going to set this up and put it over there and we will have a cup of coffee and see if it's any good okay so i've set it up it definitely looks a lot nicer in this corner than a kettle that's for sure and it's nicely like the wire you can tuck all around underneath so this is looking lovely. They didn't do a white one, obviously, if they did, or even if they did a full chrome one, that you know I would have been buying that, but they don't actually even do one. But I'm not mad at the black. I mean, we have got like our chopping board and chopping board, chopping knives and the kettle that's got a little bit of black in it. So I'm not actually mad at that. It's a really smart design. So finally, let me go get my cup and we can try it out and see if it's any good. Okay, so you just turn it on like that. Put your cup under. It's a bit aggressive, but I mean, that's a perfect cup size of water for me for like the Le Creuset mugs that I use. And that was really quick. That was like way, way, way quicker than a kettle. Okay, I'm probably gonna just throw this one out though because obviously it's just cleaning out the pipes. So, or cleaning out the new pipe, but yeah. Cool, I'm actually really happy with that. We'll have to see what Andy thinks. I was also thinking then if you've got like, obviously multiple people to make cups of tea for, I was like, oh, if that takes, that'll take ages. But actually that's super, super quick. So, cool, I'm actually really happy with that. I definitely like the way it looks in the kitchen. Um, so, yeah. Win, win, win for me. Oh, little baby boy. Oh, little baby boy. Little baby boy. Turn on the lights. <gasps> baby boy. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, Jimmy. Would you like some... Would you like some... Duck? <laughs> Do you want some duck? Gonna go up on your sofa. Go up on your sofa. Want some duck? He loves these. We got them them for Chris. Got him them for Christmas. And um, they're essentially just literally uh, duck jerky. Yummy! There you go. What you got? <laughs> and he's off. And the working day is done. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Yay! By the way, Andy very much approved of this. He loves the way it looks. I love the way it looked. I've had a couple of teas from it now. And yeah, highly recommend. I do recommend. I'm quite excited. I've already done a post on my uh, home Instagram account because I was like, I really like this. Also, we finally had a very exciting delivery come from the range. I got all of the delivery come. This is the other kettle. Andy accidentally accepted it. We were supposed to reject this delivery, so but I can just send that back. I won't even open it. These are the bits that came from the range, and I am so, so excited to get in and see this picture. So, home update for you guys. This, I think you've seen this in the hallway already. I'm forgetting because obviously I show you a lot of stuff on my home Instagram that you will always see. You will usually see everything on there first if there's any been any changes in the house. Like the garage, we've converted the garage and there was a sneak peek in there of what we've done with it. I've got a spin studio in there. We've got a cinema room. But this section behind me, I posted on my home Instagram the other day. But this, excuse you, Excuse you. It's so annoying. We still have to have this baby gate. I don't know if you guys have got any recommendations if you've got a dog, a puppy. It doesn't have to be a dachshund. But have you got any tips for stopping them going up the stairs? Because Jerry will still stand there and he knows going up is wrong. But he would go up given the opportunity. I know he would. I absolutely love this. So I've put my ginger jar on the floor. Mainly just because there was nowhere else to put it at the minute and I really like the ginger jars on the floor so I've got this ginger jar which is actually like a um it's an antique one from India Jane they don't sell it anymore but it is so so beautiful and so unique I don't think I've ever showed you guys up close but I really really love this I literally got this off eBay I found this really lovely lady and she said how much she loved it in her house but she was moving and she couldn't take it so I bought this on auction 
and I got an incredible deal on it because this, like I said, it is an antique chair. It's just trying to steal the show. Stop it! No! I bought this at an auction and I got an incredible deal on it. But like now I know it's worth like double what even the RRP was, which I didn't pay anywhere near. So I'm really excited that I've got this. It's actually a really big piece. It's quite deceiving. And then I do have another ginger jar in the um, front room, which you would have seen on my Instagram. But then this corner... I decided to change up and I've put for now this mirrored tray, which is from Danelm. I got it in the sale. There's literally nothing wrong with it. I think I paid 50, 60 pounds. I can't remember. It was on one of the most early home um, moving vlogs. I then have Fireside here from the White Company, the Reed Diffuser. And then this little vase is from Hudson Home. And then this lamp. This lamp is everything. I literally want another one of these. It is humongous. As you can see, it's bigger than the table itself. And it is just this beautiful hollow glass um, lamp with an incredible huge shade. And because this corner, like actually this like hallway gets really dark in that corner. Like I wish there was a, a window here. So this just absolutely brightens it up and makes it so, so perfect. So this is just temporary. I like the way it looks, but it is temporary because I want to get a console table that's going to fit perfectly in this alcove here. But this is just over one meter and a load of console tables. The standard, standard size that I'm finding is about 120 centimeters. So it's really limiting my market. This area here is where... I'm hoping this is gonna go. I'm looking at the box now and I'm like, that might not fit there, but I'm hoping they've put padding around the sides because I think when I seen it in store, I was like, yeah, that should definitely fit. Let's unbox it. I'll show you guys what it is. I'm so excited, it's so beautiful, guys. box that wasn't too bad how stunning stunning is this piece of art I am obsessed with it so this is the abstract gray and blush pink art from the range and I just love you guys know this is a very neutral house as you can see but I loved how it had the gray and then just the touch of pink obviously we've got no color whatsoever so it kind of it allows a tiny bit of colour to come into the house without having to actually put something really loud. I also loved that the frame was mirrored. As you can see, it's fully mirrored. So that goes with the full aesthetic of the house as well. And then apart from the fact that that's already perfect with all this mirrored frame and obviously the art itself being the lovely colour tones that it is, what I thought was so unique and what I think makes this piece a bit more expensive as well is that it's actually three-dimensional. So as you can see, the crystals actually stick out on the side. So yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. We will be moving this because it's going to be too busy with that and that. It's not going to look right. I know that for a fact, but we'll find another home for that. This should fit, hopefully, please. Oh my God, fits like a glove. And it will go there like that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. They do one that's the exact same colour scheme, but landscape, it, would, it wouldn't go in here. But it's just making me totally rethink, like, I wish they did this with beiges or like beige and grey. Like, that would be amazing because I want that in the front room, like, massively. Because we've got a wall in the front room that I need to do something with. But I'm thinking of Desenio prints for there, possibly, like a three picture jobby thing. Or maybe one huge piece of art that's made up of multiple pictures. Not 100% yet what I want to do. And then we do have another package from the range. And this is something I need to DIY, which I think I'm going to do in this vlog as well, because it's literally just a little bit of paint that I need to add. I mean, this is like, I can't even figure out. This is like five different bags in one. Oh no, this is very, very broken. I knew it would be. It's so, I could feel it. What stupid packaging. Oh, this is really annoying. It just means I have to now make a phone call. Oh my gosh, are you joking me? It's not even like a little bit broken. It's like absolutely destroyed. So basically, I have this photo frame. I've already got two of them upstairs and I ended up breaking one because it fell down the stairs. 
and this is the frame here it's so affordable but look how it's come literally like everything is absolutely smashed on the edges the back is like falling apart the i mean the plastic's not even intact that is not great but at least this looks like it's okay so this is the piece that i needed to diy and that i also bought from the range and i just i seen this literally months ago and i just couldn't stop thinking about it and it's this really beautiful farmhouse style sign for the kitchen and it's got it's three dimensional like that and it says eggs bacon and milk and it's got the little silhouettes on it this is so perfect and it's gonna go right there in the kitchen like i could just see it going there i thought it would be amazing but i do need to diy it so i'm gonna paint the frame which is this dark wood color which obviously does not go with the house and it at all i'm gonna paint it like a sage green to match the cabinets which i've actually already got as paint but i love this i think it's great so affordable as well so i will leave the links to everything the big piece of art this and i will leave that frame down below as well even though it's broken so i'm gonna have to contact um customer service about that so on the stairs we've got the frames there but the middle one when i was walking up with the washing i knocked it and it smashed and fell down so it's really annoying because that one was supposed to replace it i've even got all the pictures waiting on the stairs there to go back into it so ugh, that's annoying okay so i've got the supplies i need i got some masking tape because i'm gonna have to masking tape round here because obviously i want to keep this nice and clean and then these are the two different colors that i've got so i've got a johnstone's uh, oat cake and then I have the Wilco own one which is blue mist but it isn't a blue it is a sage green mm -hmm. but I thought that this might be quite nice because then it really ties it into the cupboards like it is pretty much a very very similar color so I thought that might look nice so this is definitely my first choice big um pro tip obviously like if you're into crafting or anything these paints which are just tester pots of buying the bigger ones they're really really good to get if you like to just do a bit of DIY like this one I used on that vase when I first moved in there was an Ikea vase that I loved the shape of but it was like pink so I painted it beige actually I'm talking about it <laughs> it's right there and then this literally this color was like on sale at Wilco for like 30p so I thought I'll pick that up that'll be useful but this will be perfect for this it might need a couple of coats but I'm gonna put the masking tape on and then I'm gonna paint this so masking tape is all down now time to paint <laughs> for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it cause i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh. so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it Okay, so the first coat is done and I think it's gonna look good. I'm really hoping that when it dries, it doesn't go super blue, but I'm pretty sure last time I just painted, it didn't do that. And I'm hoping when it's hung up next to the cabinets, it doesn't look blue. But like I said, if it does, I'll just paint it beige. It doesn't matter. Here is what it is looking like. So it's definitely a lot more to theme, as you can see. So I'm gonna give this a few hours to dry and I'll probably pick this up again tomorrow, to be honest. Oh, that was the nicest shower. Today has just been such a wholesome, nice day. Like, I feel like I've got lots of stuff done. And obviously, I love getting new things. It just makes me very, very happy. Um, right, so, as I've just had a shower, it's now time to do my skincare routine. And I just wanted to show you a really quick updated one, which I do. Because, I, to be honest, I change it all the time. I'm going to start off with this. I have literally loved this stuff, Bioderma for so so long so i'm gonna start off with the cleanser i just find it's like i wash my my skin in the shower so obviously i use my gel cleanser there but i just love having a little bit of a micellar cleanser when i come out because i just feel like it gets every single thing off
And then I let that air dry and I have been using a new product like I told you guys at the beginning of this vlog, which is how, how cool is this? It's got my name on it. <laughs> I have been using Skin and Me, the Daily Doser. Now this is the little contraption here, but I've got to show you up close. Look how cool this is. It says Skin plus Me, which is and me, for Amy. It's got my name on it, it's so cute. So this is standard for everybody. Like I know some influencers get sent like things and people think that the custom names, like no, every single person who orders from Skin and Me will get a custom formula for you, which is designed by dermatologists. So Skin and Me have got four key main sort of driver points, which is personalization, expertise, sustainability, and convenience. So the way it works is you actually have your own online skin consultation and through the questions that you have to answer, depending obviously on your answers, that goes through to a member of the dermatology team, as well as you having to upload your own photos of your skin. Your skin needs to be clear, they like to see a left, a right and a centre. So once you finish your consultation and uploaded your photos, it goes through to a member of the dermatology team. That is going to trip me over, dermatology, dermatologist, blah 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 blah. So they look through and then create your custom daily doser, which is this little guy here. And in this bottle is powerful, personalized ingredients that's exactly for you that you won't be able to get just over the counter. It's also really com cool, this component. So apart from the fact that it obviously will have your name on it, which I just freaking love. So you just pop off the lid and then you'll be able to see here, you have got an already custom amount of dose. So for example, today, if I need to use it, we just twist it up and the dose that I'm supposed to use will come out the top there. And so you just apply this all over your skin after freshly cleansed. So I'll usually just let that sink in and then like for two minutes or so and go off and sort out the washing or put something away, do something very domesticated. In this instance, I should probably sort out my hair because it's a bit funky. And then you just continue on with your normal skincare routine. So yeah, it's a really simple, easy, compact product that you can use and literally just chuck into your current routine at the moment. So this doesn't replace your moisturizer. This doesn't replace any other products. This essentially is a standalone product that you put into your routine, but that is completely tailored to you. Skin and Me is also a monthly subscription, so it gets delivered to you every single month. As I showed you from the little timestamp, there's one dose for every day of the month in this one bottle. And you can actually try out Skin and Me if you'd like to, if you're struggling with your skin and you've got different concerns. Mine was essentially dullness and texture. So I was given items or ingredients within this bottle that is gonna help me with those. And I've already felt the effects of the smoothness, I can tell you that. I have got a discount code, which is Bella Bambina YT, which will get you your first month's subscription for just £3.50. And this is usually £24.99 a month, by the way. So that is a pretty good deal. Obviously, you can try it out, see if you like it. Obviously, you get to have the consultation and you get to get some advice from the dermatology team. I just love trying new skincare. And then this is another item that I tried. So my new moisturizer is the, um, I'm not gonna be able to focus that, the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Cream. I'm not gonna lie, I might have bought this for the packaging, but also it's like, you, I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, but it's like a little bit luminous, which I absolutely love. So I'll just add this over top. And then sometimes I go in with an eye cream and sometimes I don't, I just, it really depends. I wear eye cream, daily eye cream, but today as I have got my little friend over here, I am gonna also use the Origins, uh, what's this called? Super Spot Remover. This stuff's really, really good. I think it's about 19 pounds or last time I checked it was. So it's quite affordable and I literally just put it on the spot. And also if you can feel you've got any like erupting spots or anything that feels like under the skin aggravated, just put a bit on there. It does burn a little bit, but I tell you now guys, it gets rid of that spot. So yeah, that's my updated, just really quick evening routine. I don't do tons of stuff because I just don't have the time with having to cook and jerry and everything. Oh, I almost forgot as well. I definitely need to put some lip balm on. Today's choice is EOS.
this looks so good. So we've got chicken stuffed with bacon, cheese, and parsley. Very excited about that. So bake this in the oven for 25 minutes and that should do it. Chicken is all ready to be cooked. And now time to set up the front room for chill time. I can't not have a candle burning. Like I just, there's something so soothing about having a candle burning. And then I have every night my white company diffuser on i love this thing as you can see i've got through fireside one of my oils really really quickly it's one of my favorite scents but i did end up picking up two boxes of it as well which you would have seen over on my home in home instagram i did do a little haul over there and time to watch some telly while the chicken cooks and then we will get the pasta going so andy's back now and the chicken's looking really good so we've got 16 minutes left on that i'm just about to put in some brie bites as we don't have any garlic bread so it's a little bit naughty but why not it's friday night i'm also having my first drink first drink of all of this year because i did dry january just for no reason other than i wanted to just save on the calories and just feel a lot stronger at the gym yeah. oh <laughs> I've got the water ready to boil for the pasta evangelist. So we're having the today the uh, roast butternut squash ravi raviglioni with sage butter sauce. So this is how the kit comes. To be fair, we usually have it in like a brown paper bag, but because this is the ravi raviglioni. Um, this is how it comes. So we're about to have an incoming of a Jerry. Oh, mind the drink. <laughs> He's been so attention seeking, haven't you? This is what comes inside the kit. So it looks like that. It's really cute, the attention to detail. So it's like literally, I'll have to show you and pick it up. Literally like it's just been, well it has been, handmade and just chucked in the box like this. And it always comes usually with a bit of grated parmesan, like a really big amount to be fair. And then this is the sage butter. So we've just got to melt that in the pan, obviously boil that, then toss that through it. And voila, dinner is served. Our dinner set up most nights, and now time to put on the apprentice from last night. And the little monsters here. So finish the apprentice, and look what I have to deal with this cuteness. <laughs> He's tired, aren't you? Are you tired? No. Squeaks. <laughs> Oh. You won't see well in there. <laughs> He's got one eye open. <laughs> I see you. Look at his face on the camera. He knows he's being filmed, he don't want it. <laughs> it's time for bed. You've got like five chins, honey. <laughs> it's time for bed. Yeah, we do this every night, and he never wants to go. Yeah, it's man. time for bed. It's time for bed. <laughs> oh. Come on. Time to go for wee wees. I can't deal with this every night, it's so cute. <laughs> Good morning guys, I thought I would just ping on this vlog to the next day because I really wanted to show you my pretty little thing delivery which has just come. So I thought we could go through that. I have also been filming today, I've got my tripod out, I've been doing a speed clean with me which literally I have been filming since 
10 o'clock and it's quarter past 12 so I'm a little bit terrified how much footage I'm gonna have to edit but clean with me is like you think that they'd be easy because it's like oh you've got to clean your house anyway but like trying to remember to get all different angles like and try and make the video as interesting as possible because so many people love speed cleans I love watching speed cleans I love doing motivational videos but you can't just plonk the camera in the corner and clean like you've got to remember to like take different shots of wiping things and all that. But this morning, Andy did the jobs he was supposed to do. So the picture that came yesterday is up on the wall and it looks so good. Here is the picture. I absolutely adore this right here. It looks so perfect in this space. Obviously, like I said, this kind of setup is very temporary. There probably will be a console table here at some point when I find the right one, but I just think it looks stunning in this house. Like, the size of it is so grand. I said I would absolutely love to have like a little spotlight coming out and like lighting it up. That would be perfect, because then this lamp really is too big for this corner, so it does need to go somewhere else. So it'd be really nice to have that sort of like a spotlight in there. And then in the kitchen, we have also got my sign, which I painted a second coat last night and it looks great. So I'll put that up over here. I just think that is so adorable. It's definitely, as you can see, not the same color as the cabinets, but it pull in real life, it pulls in a lot more. And obviously it definitely pulls in a lot more than the dark, um, dark wood. So yeah, I love this little touch here. I think it's so adorable. It's gonna have sausages for lunch actually. And I need to make a um, cup of tea as well. We've been loving 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 that thing i literally not that i need any more encouragement to drink tea i'll tell you that i'm gonna take this upstairs let's go to my beauty room and we can unbox it okay by the way sorry if you can hear little bangings and he's playing darts in his office literally right next to mine so i just wanted to show you a couple of bits that i picked up from misguided before we open the pretty pretty little thing package but i just got a plain black bikini set this was reduced to two pound 40 i think and then this little cute cami i think was only like three pounds so i ended up picking this up i don't actually know how much i'll wear it and it's doing that thing i hate it when they roll it up like roll up at the bottom i've not even worn it i literally tried it on i've not even worn it but this is what it looks like i think this was about three pounds and i got everything in a size 12 as well by the way and then i picked up this basic dress which was i think normal price is nine pounds it's like really affordable but it's just a little really nice bright orange dress i love orange in summer with a tan but this is actually a really nice length i find a pretty little thing anyway and some misguided dresses they're just far too short like uncomfortably short but this was a really really good length so I picked this one up I think full price like I said it was nine pounds so I only paid uh, four pa uh, three pound fifty for it I think because I had a code at the time for 50% off so yeah that's the three little bits that I kept from misguided I did end up buying more but as you've seen that's all been sent back so the first thing I got actually is really overdue so I've got the bikini top of this bikini set but I never ended up getting the bottoms and then I noticed that they had the bottoms in stock in a 12 so I'm really hoping oh god they're really screwed up <laughs> it's really hard for me to know because a 14 is usually too big on for me for um for bikini bottoms but then a 12 sometimes can be a bit small but yes this is the bikini bottoms to the matching top that I already have I think it's the matching top this is the bikini oh no this is not i was this is the bikini top and then i seen that they had the matching like skirty sarong thing so i thought oh, whatever i'll try it this is the bikini top very not my style because it's very bright colors instead of neutral but i really liked the contrast of the green the green um straps with this like purple and red tie-dye effect i just thought that was different i thought it was really nice it's very caribbean so i got the top and then this was recommended with it because i've seen the model with this on and i thought it looked it looks different but what okay it did not look like that oh yeah okay i was gonna say i was like this is it did not look like that but this is just like a little beach cover-up that you're supposed to you know chuck on like you just wear normal bikini bottoms with that this is the skirt here i'm re i'm i already know i can feel like how tight that is i am not gonna like this and then i picked up these two bits of clothing in the sale and they are denim 
little top. So I got this one in a size 10 because that's all they had left. And then I got the black one, I think, in a 12, which obviously is my right size. But I kind of loved this one. The only thing that occurred to me was I don't know what I'm going to wear this. Oh, my God. <laughs> that ain't fitting me in any universe whatsoever, I highly doubt. But got that one and then I did get the black one. Okay, well, the thing is, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because they're supposed to be, this one's unlaced. And they are supposed to be, like, a little bit open, like, down here. So I'm maybe the other one's deceiving. But this is kind of how it looks. It's like a corsetti style top. Obviously, you're not going to wear it with a bra because it's nice and thick denim anyway. Oh, and there's one more thing. Is there one more thing? Yeah. Oh, I must have picked up, I picked up another bikini thing in a mauve colour. I remember picking this up, actually. Um, oh, it's just a bikini top. I really need to stop doing this. I've got so, so many. I literally do not need any more, like, basic ones. But there we go. Picked that up too. So, I have been filming all day today, and obviously we vlogged all day yesterday. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna conclude it here. Let me know if you do like these style of vlogs of just spending the day at home with me. Obviously, I always try and do bits and things with you and make it interesting. I'm probably gonna go downstairs now and sit down and have a cup of tea first because I've not stopped cleaning all morning. But then I'm gonna try and make a lasagna and I say try and because I'm not sure I've got all the ingredients. I'm gonna go double check I've got all the ingredients. If not, I will send Andy out to go buy them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Ciao.